In this video, we are going to study edge problems. Edge problems is part of word problems. So we need to analyze the questions correctly and we need to write the equation. But it has some specific rules. Also, they are given here. Uh, we need to be careful about these rules also. In t years, everyone will be t years older, which means uh, if I am uh, 39 years old now and my brother and my brother uh, here, uh, he is 35 years old now. After five years, after five years, he is going to be, I'm going to be firstly 44 and he is going to be 39 years old. After five years, he is going to be 40, sorry. He is going to be 40 years old. And uh, everyone will be two years older. So if I am getting older for five years, he need to be also. Uh, or here the second one is two years ago. It says before three years, before before three years, three years. I was I was thirty six and he was thirty two. And here it says. The difference between the ages of two people always constant. Now their uh, our age difference is four years old. After five years, again four years, it's going to be before six years, again four years difference, it's going to be between us. And the sum of the ages of n people will increase by n times t years in t years. After five years, uh, the our ages. 2 times 5, it says we are two people. Now I'm giving the example me and my brother. That's why uh, 2 times 5 years it's going to increase or 2 times 3 years it will decrease. That same addition and subtraction here, the difference and the uh, sum, it's going to be uh, same. For uh, the rule, it's going to work same, uh, which means uh, 2 times 5 years means 10 years and after 5 years our ages sum of our ages it's going to be 10 more than the before 5 years because if we are here 36 plus 35 which is 74 74 years I'm trying to explain this one and after 5 years we are going to be 84 years which means the difference is 10 which is five years times two person how many person there are n people n people two people okay the number of people and the number of years okay after this explanation let's start to solve our questions a mother is 38 years old and her daughter is 13 years old in how many years will be the mother will mother be twice as old as her daughter twice means firstly uh, the age is one of the age when you multiply by two it's going to give the other one so if i say now the mother's age is 38 now 38 and 13 after x years later the mother should be 38 plus x and the daughter must be 30, 13 plus x so after t years after x years that's not important t or x which variable you are using it says that mother's age is twice of daughter's age it's going to be. so this means 38 plus x it should be equal to 2 times 13 we are going to do distribution rule then 2 times x 26 plus 2x if i get the terms to this side x minus 2x is equal to 26 minus 38 26 minus 38 it's going to be minus 12 x minus 2x is going to be equal to 1 minus 2 it's going to be minus 1x which is minus x so if the both of them they have minus sign 
we will multiply by minus 1 and we will get the term x is equal to x is equal to 12 it's going to be okay so after 12 years after 12 years mother and uh, mother's age will be twice of daughter's age for check check on this one mother's age is 38 and after 12 years after 12 years the mother's age it's going to be 50 and daughter's age this is mother's age and daughter's age daughter's age now it is 13 and after 12 years she is going to be 25 and 2 times 25 makes 50 we found correctly it means now let's start to second question the sum of ages of two children is 30 five years ago one child was six years older than the other child find the ages now here there is a trick if we have child one and child two and if we say x and y to the, them here there are two information firstly x plus y is equal to 30 the sum of their ages is 30 the second information five years ago one child was six years older than the other child this is the tricky part what is the trick here five years ago it says but that doesn't mean anything for us because the ages are constant the difference between the ages constant if it is like that x minus 5 x minus y is always 6 it's going to be it's always 6 because this is the third rule the age between two, um, here it was written the difference of ages always constant it was if you remember now i'm going to solve the system here x plus y is equal to 30 x minus y is equal to 6 if we add them side by side by using elimination method x plus x is equal to 2x y plus y we may simplify and it will be equal to 0 that's why we are not writing 0 there 2x is equal to 36 x is going to be equal to x is going to be equal to 36 over 2 which is equal to 18 x is equal to 18 going to be okay then we are going to talk about the brothers i mean two children it says uh, we don't know brother or sister the second one x minus x plus y it's equal to 30 so 18 plus y it's equal to 30 this implies y is equal to 30 minus 18 which is equal to 20 uh, 12 it's going to be now we are solving this question the sum of ages of three children is 27 in how many years the sum of their ages will be 63 here this is the fourth rule this is the fourth rule and here we have uh, the fourth rule it was uh, it was written uh, if there are n people to to the sum you should add n times t years here uh, which is if there are three children 3 times t we should add to the sum it must be okay now if there are three children and their sum is if it is 27 here if we name like x y z so x plus y plus z it must be equal to 27 x plus y plus x plus y plus z it must be equal to 27 after t years their age is going to be x plus t, y plus t, and z plus t. It's going to be equal to x plus t plus y plus t and plus z plus t. It's going to be. And that's going to be equal to the sum of them. It's going to be equal to 63. 
Okay, uh, we have two equations here. The first one is x plus y plus z is equal to 27. The other one is x plus t plus y plus t plus z plus t is equal to 63. So if we add them x plus y plus z, I'm continuing with the second equation here, plus t plus t plus t, it's going to be 3t is equal to 63, it's going to be. And from the first one, we know that x plus y plus z is equal to 27, which means 27 plus 3t is equal to 63, it's going to be. 3t is equal to 63 minus 27. And 3t is going to be equal to 36. And t is going to be equal to 36 over 3. T must be equal to T must be equal to 12. After 12 years, the sum of their ages it's going to be 60, uh, 63. Now we are going to solve this question. A father has two sons. The father's age now is 10 times the difference of the sons. So if I write the first equation here. Uh, the difference of the ages, if I say uh, for the sons there are because there are two child and if I write them their ages, I will write like this. The father's age, it's written uh, 30 now, this second information, now he is 30 and the first son, I'm going to say x, the second son is y. And the equation for this one, the difference of them which means x minus y and we are accepting this is older son actually it is elder son and uh, the difference of them 10 times of difference of them will be father's age now okay then three years ago the father's age was three times of the sum of his sons which means, if you remember the second property, we said like this. The three years ago, if father is 30 years now, he should be 27. And the first son, he must be x minus 3. And the, as you understand from the uh, order here, the second son must be y minus 3. And the second equation, it says that, this is the first equation and the second equation, it says that and the father's age three years ago, three times of the sum of the, his sons, which means if the sum of his sons x minus 3 plus y minus 3, the father's age, which is 27, was the three times of this age, sum of these ages. Okay. Then that's going to be equal to 3 times x minus 3 plus y minus 3 is equal to 27. And uh, 3 times x minus 3x minus uh, 3x plus y minus 6 is equal to 27. 3x plus 3y minus 18 is equal to 27 it's going to be and that 3x plus 3y is equal to 27 plus 18 18 which is equal to 3x plus 3y is equal to 45 it's going to be this is the second equation the first equation i didn't write but here we can say like this 10x plus 10y minus 10y minus 10y is equal to 30. So this is the first one and this is the second one. And I also like this here. I also like this here. This is the third part now. Uh, 10x minus 10y minus 10y is equal to 30 3x plus 3y is equal to 45 so when we add them here uh, but before adding I think we should multiply or divide this one which one easier for us 
I don't know, but because the coefficient is not same, so we need to multiply this one by 10 and this one by 3, it can be. And that's going to be 30 for x and y. Uh, pardon, for y because minus 30y and this is plus 30y it's going to be. That's why I wrote crossly. And 30x plus uh, minus actually minus 30y equals is equal to 90 and here this is going to be 30x again minus plus this time 30y it's going to be equal to 450 so if we add them side by side 60 this two will be simplified 60x it's going to be equal to 540 and x will be equal to 540 over 60 we may simplify the, we may simplify the zeros here 54 over 6 it's going to be equal to 9 so the sum, first sum is uh, 9 years old what about the uh, younger one the sum of their ages is 3x plus 3y if it is equal to 45 3 times 9 plus 3 times y is equal to 45 it's going to be and here 3 times 9 is 27 27 plus 3y is equal to 45 3y is equal to 45 minus 27 3y is equal to 45 minus 27 it's going to be equal to 18 and yes it's going to be 18 and y is equal to uh, 3y minus pardon uh, 3y minus 3y is equal to 18 over 3 y is equal to 6 it's going to be Okay, this is the last question about this type of questions. A mother has three children. The middle child is two years older than the youngest child. The oldest child is two years older than the middle child. So if I say child one, child two, and child three. Here a mother has three children. The middle child is two years older than the youngest one. If he is x, then this is going to be x plus two, because two years older. and and the mother pardon and the oldest child is two years older than the middle child which means x plus two plus two which is equal to x plus four it's going to be the mother's age now is twice the sum of the ages of children if the mother is 30 years old now find the age of kids here uh, the age of the mother is twice the sum of ages of the three children so x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 times twice which means double of this one is equal to 30 it's going to be and 2 times x plus 3 x plus 6 it's going to be equal to uh, 30 again and you know x plus x plus x is equal to 3x 2x 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 so 6x plus 12 is equal to 30 and 6x is equal to 12 plus 30 which is equal to uh, 30 minus 12 it's going to be 6x is going to be equal to uh, 18 x is going to be equal to 18 over 6 x is going to be equal to 3 so the first kid is 3 years old and the second kid is 5 years old and the third kid is going to be 7 years old actually the, uh, the first kid this is the first one and the second child because the if you are 
naming the uh, I mean the if we are ordering them the first kit must be the eldest one and the third one is third kit is the last one 